Thank you to Sarah Drive and we're going to Niagara Falls. We are 300 miles away. We are entering Canada. Hi Canada. Look, there's a maple leaf up there. <laughs> Canada! Oh Canada! Is that the no, thing? No, 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 no! <laughs> We got into our hotel late at night, and the next day, we went out to see the famous Niagara Falls. Shall you lead the way to finding more yes. falls views? We're trying to find a way down to the falls. We have not been successful thus far. Let's go. So we are by like a swampy region and this. We eventually found our way down to the walkway with viewpoints of the falls. On this trip, we found out that Niagara Falls is actually comprised of the American Falls and the Horseshoe Falls. The latter is what everyone thinks of though when you say Niagara Falls. Then we drove outside of the main tourist hub to Niagara Gorge. Okay, so we left the touristy section of Niagara Falls to do a little exploring down the road. Oh, here's the other side of the Rainbow Bridge. Where you can get a pretty cool view of the Niagara Whirlpool, which is a section of the Niagara River that, you guessed it, forms a natural whirlpool. Hello. <laughs> Sarah is going to Brock's Monument. We continued our drive to see Brock's Monument. And I cannot remember why we went there. Wow. Um, but it was a pretty and quiet park with a really nice view of the river. There's General Brock up there. Folks, the Canadians won the War of 1812. And that's all I got for the history lesson today. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Rock, open up. We started the next day with a trip to Whitewater Walk, which is a section of rapids just down the Niagara River from the falls. So we just took this elevator 70 meters, 70 meters down, which is about 200 something feet. And we entered to here. All right, Alex, you wanna lead the way lead down the, the tunnel? And the tunnel is a little bit longer than the height of the that we traveled yeah. through the elevator. I probably could have said that in a way that would make more sense. Some of the strongest rapids in the world. They, these are people who try to swim through the rapids. Boat sank, drowned, boat sank, boat sank. Oh look, they have tightrope walkers too. All right, let's go take a look at the rapids. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Water travels past Whitewater Rock at about 30 miles an hour, creating a whirlpool rapids, which are class six whitewater rapids. Class six. We heard about this place from a local just the day before. He used to be a tour guide and said we shouldn't miss it. We were so glad we made the stop. We headed back up to the main tourist section to do the journey behind the falls, where you put on ponchos and you walk through tunnels under and behind the falls. 
which allows you to get a more up close and personal view of the big horseshoe falls. After changing into some warm, dry clothes, we drove 30 minutes to a cute little town on Lake Ontario called Niagara-on-the-Lake. Such a cool little town. Mm -hmm. We spent the afternoon wandering through different shops and getting some tasty snacks. Old town games. Yeah. Souvenirs, games, and like snack foods. So we're experiencing a thunderstorm in the Rainforest Cafe. Our day ended with dinner at the Rainforest Cafe. It's scary. It's scary. Taking a ride on the Sky Wheel for an aerial view of the falls. Sarah here is scared because she wanted to go on this. <laughs> This is totally her idea. <laughs> we're going up again. Whoa, you can see the whole tree fall. Oh, that is so cool. And then watching a fireworks show over the lit up falls on our walk back to our hotel. We're officially leaving the, the country of Canada. Look at the huamos! The crazy, crazy huamos! I'm sorry? Huavos means waves in Spanish. Pronounced huevos and that means egg. You're an egg. <laughs> huavos. <laughs> Crazy big huavos. Evil elephant. Evil Sarah. Nice me. Oh. Alex is upset because he wanted a slow-mo video of him. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs>